hello as you can see pour in now carbonation in there only kegged it 20 minutes ago still a bit hazy but I think that's the cold you can see fingers are there it'll drop out of them so I'll follow the homebrew for life way of kegging it um, it's cold crashed for three days um, finally got the gas when I sorted it out um, put it out 30 psi and rolled it for 200 seconds put it back in the freezer or the geezer um, left it for half an hour Calm down because I've been shaking it, took all the pressure off, connected it back up to the tap, and then put I think there's 8 psi coming, serving it out at the minute, serving pressure. Um, I had to find a keg for it, and you know, you get tied up, don't you? So when I opened the keg, there was still a bit of muck in the bottom, maybe a, about a pint. So, well, Got rid of that, oxy cleaned it, star sand it, pumped the CO2 in to get the gas, to get the sanitizer out, then did a closed transfer best I can from the tap, which was up there, straight in through the beer line with the gas connector on so that had pushed the CO2 out and put the beer in from the bottom up and as you can see it's clear it's a colch um, well near as can be we've got 90% of the oral pills are melting and 10% of the wheat that's why I've got ahead and while I've been talking to you it's still there I'm quite chuffed with that um, it's a non-nucleated glass, so it's, I'm dead chuffed. <laughs> Even got lacing. It tastes grapefruiter, but not in your face grapefruiter. We use Comet hops. Um, only now I found it. 30 minutes and a full ounce at five minutes to go. There's no better in ops, so that's why it's no not very bitter. I suppose there is a, a light grapefruit note on it. Um it just shows on it um there's no water off taste. I think if I remember rightly, no it's not, we didn't do it with this one did we? No, this is normal water from out of the tap, which I took advice of somebody and I put it through three filters, I think I'm going to put a picture up here, basically it's connected to the tap source. I filtered it through the big white one, then the little one, then the minute one. Also added Camden and it was an overnight mash. Um, so it started at 10.40 and finished at 008. So Around a 4.2 Colch Colch style <laughs> I'm enjoying that That's the first time I've had cold beer That's been good <laughs> um, 
on the rest of the stuff. Did an home wreck of pale ale that's gone into bottles. I just missed the gas. I could have known I'd have put that in there. Currently I'm in the fermenting fridge. We've got Cerveza after Tim Burton did one, Big Banana. Thought, you know, we need one of them. So put a picture up here, it's called Cerveza de Lobo, it's Bear of the Wolf. <laughs> um, that started with a starting gravity of 1044, but I've also got a tilt now. Um, and that's been working well. I need to dial it in. Um, had a bit of trouble with the Ubi Dots, had a bit of trouble with the Brew Father, but I managed to work on this Brew Spy working perfect I'll show you but you're on my phone and, um, and it is it's, it's there there's a grapefruit nose on it it's quite nice um, it's not juicy or anything like that it's just ice cold well oh, excuse me it's set at four on the chest but I think that fridge had it down to like three so it's kind of warming up. I think that's what's happening with it now. It's getting. That is the second glass out. I did have one, I have to admit. That's the second one. And as you can see, it's still stuck about on it, so. <clears throat> so I'm fine. Back work soon. <laughs> Had some bad news about work, but I'll let you know that on another time. Um, I think I'll leave it here now. Long time no see. So, I've got nothing really much more to mention. I need to tidy up in here a bit. A bit. And I can sit down at the table. So, take care, everyone. See you on the next one. Hopefully.